Okay, well, we are at Nancy Whiskey Pub. It's on List Bernard Street and West Broadway. And we just got a regular cheddar, uh, American cheese, sorry. American cheeseburger, just two slices of cheese, not really melted, little burger action. Tiny little sesame seed bun. This looks like a not the most uh, extravagant burger, I will say so myself. But this does not look like the most extravagant bar, which is a good thing. It looks like a fucking great ass bar. Throw a little old school ketchup on here. And then we're going in. I mean, looks like nice bacon though. I love double double pieces of cheese. And this is it. This is just probably the most simple burger I've had on the shelf. We literally just got bun, bacon, slices of cheese, and burger. It's dripping. Nice little blood working. Alright, let's go. Okay, so as you can tell by the look of it, it looks exactly like this. It's definitely the most backyard barbecue burger I've ever had. Like, obviously, anytime you're at a Fourth of July party or a graduation party in someone's backyard hanging out by the pool, just growing up a few burgers, this is what it's most likely going to come out like. This one's definitely in the lower scale, so I'm just going to go with the 2.9 balls in the burger. But it's very hard because this is such a, like an old school cool bar that I felt feel bad even going in the twos because it's just so not worth it. But I'm gonna get to that in the ambiance. So now to the beer. They don't didn't have a beer menu. I asked for a beer menu. They did not have a beer menu. They just had like five six beers on draft and then a bunch of bottles. I was trying to explain to the waitress that there was um, that I do a show. So like there's a bunch of beers that I haven't done yet. So she was just naming out beers, and I tried to kept trying to tell her she did not pick up on it. So she just said Stella. I just took a Stella. I don't think I've done a Stella. Straight from Belgium. Looks nice. Looks good. I like Stella. My dad likes Stella. Tastes wonderful. It's a little better than a Heineken. Both from the same region, obviously. Both a green bottle. But Stella does taste a little better. It has a nice sort of wrapping around it. I'm going to drop a 4.4 balls on the Stella Artois. Just a nice, wonderful taste. Now to the fries. Also, don't look fantastic. They're not the lowest tier fries. Like they're not those like crummy cafeteria fries. These are a tad better. Just a little greasy. I could tell already. That should taste pretty good. A little extra salt, pepper on that bad boy. I can almost picture this as like an older baseball stadium fry. Like I could see it at like Three Rivers Stadium, or like the Polo Grounds. These are the fries that probably sold there. They taste great. I'm gonna go with a 3.3 balls on the fries. Now, finally, the ambiance here. I've never really heard of this place. Came down here, went to AOA, now we're here across the street. Nancy Whiskey Pub is so old. Probably the biggest dive bar I've been to. Like McSorley's, you hear about it, it's old, it's nice. But this is a straight dive bar. Like I'm surprised they even had food. I'm surprised they even took credit card. Very interesting stuff. I mean, we got wooden tables, everything is wooden. We're upstairs, they have two floors. When, how often do you see a dive bar with two floors? You don't need food here. This is such a cool place that you don't need food. So ambiance, I'm going to go really high. I'm going to say 4.6 balls on the ambiance. Just a very awesome place to come and drink. Like such a down home, awesome neighborhood, towny, vintage, old school dive.